hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big porky here, and still the voice of our car boxing. Well, quarter past five. Outside Mickey's Athletic, waiting for Mick and Josh. I think we're going to have a sit down with Josh. See what's what moving forward. It's all positive stuff, isn't it? So it's all good. Uh, well, it's not very good today, is it? And I've still got my uh, weapon, weaponry on, I reckon, to my tracky. It's really comfy, but colour's a bit ancient, isn't it? Out of fashion. It's probably why somebody get it me. Uh, so, getting into with Josh now and have a bit of a chat and a cuppa. And then I am going home, it's been a long, long, long day, and I'm knacked. I'll be home about 7 o'clock, so that's that. For a long day, isn't it? Long day. So, so I hope you enjoy this video, that I'm going to do now. And uh, it's all good, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed the helmets of the month. I think I might have overdone it with the aubergines, what do you think? <laughs> hey? I think I might have done it with the aubergines, but a bit of weaponry. But how can I talk about weapons when I'm sat here in this? Shocking, isn't it? But, so, alright, so let's uh, get this video on his ear Josh now so peace out hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there how are you doing it's Big P here and still the voice of hardcore boxing and I am joined today by legendary Barnsley fighter former British champion current IBO international champion featherweight international champion should I say Josh Whale the outlaw how are you doing outlaw good Russ are you Paul I'm all right you're looking well yeah you pulled up in your seven seater today. Yeah. <laughs> we go rare. Uh, we work out with kids. No, yeah. we work out. How are you keep? How you been keeping jobs? Yeah. We're catch up since fight, have we? No, no, I've been busy, aren't we? Uh, yeah. For for twenty first February, Barnsley went all coming at Barnsley. Went well. Stopped in Kayumba. Yeah. In third round. Third round knockout. Four out of four at featherweight, two knockouts, so... Four and four, aren't you? Four and oh, sorry, yeah. and two knockouts, yeah. yeah. What next, Josh? Yeah, we'll sit down. Uh, we've had a day, so we'll you know, have a chat and see, see where we're going, where we're going, you know. Are you happy? Yeah, definitely, I mean, what we've come so far in a year's time, Paul, yeah. I mean, um, you know, De Dennis is a is great, great manager, great at what he does. And uh, when he shakes my hand in my dad's hand, we look at it, it's done. We don't need no, we don't need no contract or, you know, as words as bond. And that's how we've worked it. Yeah. It's worked. You know, we've got a great, great relationship with him. He's, he's a, he's, he tells you how it is, just like we are. My dad says it how it is, and you know, Paul, and everything went well. Brilliant. What did you think to kid you fought, Josh? Um, I mean, he, he won 14 out of 16 and he knocked a few out, I think he knocked 7 out or something. So, well, on paper, you, you look at him and you never know what you're going to get. You didn't know what you were going to get a yeah. fight though, did you, when the French kid pulled out? Yeah, you know? no, I mean, obviously that, that were a bit major blow to us. Well, it, it affected TV, yeah. the show and everything. Yeah, everything, because we, we worked so hard to get that French opponent for five weeks, obviously. 
we come to a stage where we had to make a decision and uh, obviously he wasn't going to take five so we had to move on and we got this real close but uh, to be fair um, when, I, when I hit him to the body he, he didn't want to know but that, that can happen to, to anybody at four you know, for my career, you can catch him right, the, the goal, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good performance, I felt strong again at the weight, and, you know, I've I, I proved I've carried my power up, and, you know, I'm after anybody at this point. Now you're eating like an horse, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm just more comfortable at this weight, I mean, mm. this is weight, and you're a lot less body fat as well, aren't you, at this weight? Which is strange, that, isn't it? Because yeah. you should be filling out, shouldn't you? Yeah, I think, uh, I think that more natural. This is be more natural weight, I'm going to say. You get a 30, 31, 32 year old man doing 8 stone 6 bantam weight. It's not, it's not natural. Unless you're a smacker or a jockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so everything's all good in the whale household at the moment, then, yeah? Yeah, we're all good. Happily married, three kids. Yeah, yeah, we're all kids. A couple of businesses going, and you're, you're yeah. boxing again in June, aren't you? Josh, all being well? Yeah, yeah, June 19th. June 19th at yeah. Barnsley. Yeah, 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 come on, Russ, we're back at Barnsley. Yeah, we're back at Barnsley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a great night, everybody really enjoyed it. Um, you know, we're back to Barnsley, and you know, the fan base is it, yeah. brilliant. I mean, after all these years, I've, uh, you've got to think a lot of them as well. The, when I box away from home, they've all travelled with me as well to, to, to watch me when I box away from home. Yeah, yeah, so uh, every, everything's all good. How's your Dempsey doing? Is he yeah, alright? Yeah, he's doing well. Yeah, he's training, he's training this morning. He's, tra he's training well and that. So. When's he out again? Yeah, uh, well, so he's, he's got a few niggling injuries, so yeah. uh, we'll Bro. see how they play out. He's all young, you know. He he wants he wants to fight, but uh, you know, maybe no rushes. No, though. maybe Dad see it too. There's, there's no rush, and we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look what's best for him. You learn from you from you, obviously, what you've been through. Yeah, long definitely. Years about, so. I mean, uh, you you're always learning in this game. Mm. Even, even at my stage, you, you're always learning. Uh, you've you've got a box when you when you're 100. percent You can't you can't win no no less. Are you enjoying working here in day with John Joe Irwin, the yeah, former yeah. British champion, isn't he? Commonwealth yeah, yeah, gold yeah. medal, yeah. Uh, Commonwealth okay. Games. Yeah, we've got, we've got a great project we run here during the day, uh, working with disengaged school kids. So I, I really enjoy that work. Does that mean kids that decide that they don't want to go to school and just smash everything up inside? Basically, <laughs> mean, basically means naughty kids, doesn't it? <laughs> they, they, yeah, that's they, the uh, they, they get annoyed by that when, when we say that. Uh, <laughs> So, so you need a little crack yeah. round there, don't they, Josh? So we use, te <laughs> we use the technical term of uh, dishing dish 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 game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that, that, enjoying that, it? Yeah, that goes well. I, I work well with kids, you know. Was, mm. Obviously, I've come from a pretty rough area myself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, uh, I know all the ins and outs of you know what they've been doing or what they get up to, mm. and um, I try and show them that there's a there's a different way of going about things yeah. to achieving stuff in life, you know. Yeah. I mean, I've never took a drug in my life, you know, I've never had a cig in my life. I, I try and conduct myself in the right way. You don't even drink, do you, John? No, and I, I, try, I try and do everything right, you know. I, I obviously, I've been dedicated to my sport for, yeah. you know, for how many years. Boxing has been my 20 life. 20-odd years, isn't it? Yeah, boxing has been my life. Um, and I try and tell them, it's not, not necessarily if, if they want to go boxing, if they want to do all, if they want to be a brick, if they want to be a joiner, just try to get that work ethic through to them, you know, if, if they work hard in life, they'll, they'll come through and, and they'll be good at what they're doing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, around here, he's, you know, pretty deprived and, you know, the, the most money kick around, he's half for kids, you know, yeah. he really is half for kids. So that's been work during the day, obviously my boxing club at night, we've got young amateurs all the way through to professionals, we've got, you know, as you can see, Jim's really, really busy. Shocker now, yeah, isn't it? Shocker, you're having to turn him away. Yeah, turn him away, then um, it's so busy, then I've got little little mini outlaws as I've called them now, the kids grew up. Because I'm looking around now and seeing what other people are doing with kids, with boxers, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I didn't really think they were learning the real aspect of boxing, you know, yeah. the, the fundamentals of boxing and uh, what boxing should be about. So I, I said that up and that, that always started in January and we've got a waiting list for that now. So Brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's done that. Really well. and, and, and when do you do the, the Mini Outlaws? Yeah, the Mini Outlaws, that's on a Sunday morning and a, and a Thursday after school. 
So, uh, so it's Sunday morning, what yeah. time? 10 o'clock. Sunday morning, 10 o'clock till? Uh, well, there's two classes, 4 till 6 runs, 10 till uh, 20 to 11. Then 4 we've year old to 6, six year, year old. old. Then we've got 10 to 11 till half past 11 for 6 to 9 year old. 6 to 9 year old. Yeah. And on, in the, on the Thursday, did you Thursday, say? yeah, that's a quarter past 4 till 5 o'clock. And that's both age groups? Yeah, yeah, that's from 6 to 9, uh, sorry, from 5 to 9. From so, five, so yeah, five year old to nine. Yeah, yeah, it's all different age. Groups. So the four year olds miss out on the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once there's enough for four year olds, and then obviously if they get a little bit older, they want to be cooler. So and, and are the parents allowed to come in? Yeah, the parents can come in for that. Obviously, yeah. we don't let parents in uh, for teenagers. No, yeah. we don't let parents in for boxing class. Yeah, because. Um, my dad's always had that. I, I just think kids train better without the parents glaring yeah. over them. And, you know, yeah. if you take your daughter dancing or your kids swimming, you leave them to it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we've yeah, always yeah. had that philosophy, and I, and I think it works, you know, yeah. because sometimes, you know, as a parent, you can see them glaring at kids and they're not performing at the full yeah. of And And not, and not being funny in this day and age, uh, we are think you know, they never be too careful and all, all our coaches are DBS checked and safeguarding trained so at least we know every rules in gyms DBS yeah. checked and, and that's not saying, you know, I'm not being trying to be too yeah. political but I think the going nowadays I, I just like that way. Yeah. I would like to think that my mum got watching me if I was a kid now. No, I, I, I see it and um, you know it gives kids unnecessarily stressed that they don't need. Some, don't get me wrong, some parents are brilliant and really supportive, just glad the kids are doing stuff and getting active. Other parents can be a, yeah. can be a uh, nightmare like. So, yeah. I mean, I take my, I take my lads footballing and uh, I, 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 never say, I never say a word that they do what they do, but even some parents at that, that age, screaming up, yeah, 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 do this and do that. That for me, that's, that's not what you, uh, that's not what it's about. I have always prefer to see a kid with a smile on his face, that, that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant, that's good that you're doing stuff in community. Uh, I think that's about it. Have you got any sponsors that we can uh, get on here, Josh? Yeah, yeah, I've got uh, I've got three, three sponsors. Up. Go on then, oh, here we go. On here. Go get on. a bit back on us, I'll let you read them out. SMK Cars and Swinton, that's Melanie. Yeah. Claim and Cork, who's that? Clam and Cork. Clam and Cork, sorry. That's Wayne Marsh at Doncaster. Wayne Marsh at Doncaster. And uh, Interact AV. AV. AV, what's that? that? That's cameras, security. Cameras. Yeah, yeah, all cameras and that. Oh, yeah. So that's my free sponsors. Brilliant. Yeah. And what's your social media? Oh, what's yeah. that? Well, that's Denny Thompson promotion. Yeah, that's an old school Dennis one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's Dennis's old one. She must have got it today and got that one. Uh, and what's your social media angles? Yeah, so I'm J Boy Outlaw on Twitter, Twitter. Uh, and obviously Josh Quayle Facebook and uh, Josh Quayle IT on Instagram. Don't you do Instagram? Oh, Josh yeah. JK yeah. on Instagram. Well, that's brilliant. Well, I hope you have a good evening and uh, all the best, Josh, for what we do on the show yeah. with Dennis. And, uh, oh, okay. We've got. Uh, I'm into show coming up as well. When is that? 13th of March. 30th of yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. Brilliant! So it's all busy for all Team busy. Whale? Yeah. Get all pads right. on now, three rounds up, pads with kids. <laughs> Alright, well, listen. All the best, mate. Yeah, take cheers. care. Cheers, pal. Better turn that off. It's on for longer than 20 seconds, you get a, you get a bill. The guy who sings that song is from where I'm from. How's about that, eh? John Parr is called. A nice guy. I don't know him though. But my dad says he's a nice fella. Right, I enjoyed that. We Josh. Look at this here, eh? Five to six and I'm going home! That is good for me. I'll be in home bath dressing gown on. Upload this to my man. And I will be done for seven o'clock. So, but I enjoyed that with Josh. Uh, God, I'm full of flu. You're not even allowed to snivel though, are you on Porky's Corner? I'll be out getting accused of taking cocaine. See you, mate. Okay, I'll just get towed on her. Woo! You get home. So, 
been an interesting day. I just want to go home now, I've had enough. Good chat with Josh. Uh, he's got a lot on his plate there, young lad, Josh. Couple of businesses, working in day, three kids, don't drink, don't smoke. He's unbelievable, isn't he? And he don't get as much PR as Anthony Joshua. Drug dealer, been in jail, beats people up, people hanging out the back of him. Cheers, mate. Do you know what I mean? So that's how I look at it. So we give it some down here when you get home. Nobody's it hundred up there for a long time, I bet have they? But uh but yeah. Got someone following me then. Just wanna get on, it's been a long day today for me. Come on, cheers mate. Long, long day. And loads of traffic here at Denavit. Uh, I'd like to see Josh fight Gavin McDonald, that's what I'd like to see. I think it's a great fight. But I don't think Gavin McDonald will want to fight Josh Whale. He's got no knackers, have you, Gavin? I know you're watching. But what can you do? What can you do? Nobody wants to fight Josh Whale. He's icing people. Guy's a fucking ice man! Hello! Guy's an ice man! He's just iced a guy in Barnsley a couple of weeks back. He does not mess about. He's coming for Josh Warrington. So get ready, Nick Manners. I know you're watching as well. I can't wait to get in. Do you know why? I'm going to view Helmets of the Month for February. February. And do you know why? If you haven't watched Helmets of the Month for February, you need to go and watch it. Because it's cost a fortune to make. But do you know what? Money well spent. Because little things tickle tiny little minds like me. I've got a tiny little mind, I know, and little things tickle me. Come on, mate, you're doing 30 in a 40. What are you doing? Holding me up. I've got to get home and get another tin of soup down me and a shake. Look at this here. Do you know whenever I come through this area, me, right, listen, if I have my window down round here, you know I go by this here, Denny, me crossings, do you know what I can smell? Shit. I can smell shit. It's like sewage. I don't know what it is. Some of stink round here, some of smelly. Always on this bridge, then it goes when I get to this roundabout here. It's not me, is it? There's some of smelly round here every time I drive by this bit here. But June 19th, the outlaw returns in Barnsley, headlining. What TV that's gonna be on? I wonder if it's gonna be on free sports or I don't know, it might be on ITV, we don't know, do we? We don't know what cards Dennis has got up his sleeve. I've got a few up my sleeve as well, but only when I cheat at poker. So I think that's about it, isn't it really? So it's been a long day and I am knapped. If you put the effort in, you get the rewards, don't you? You end up with a free weapon tracksuit like this. This is the weapon of the week tracksuit. I got to choose myself for weapon of the week, didn't I? But I'm going to film that on Wednesday, weapon of the week, and I hadn't decided who was going to win it yet. I hadn't decided. Obviously, this, that's going to come from me. So I haven't decided. It might even be somebody that I like, but if they've behaved like a weapon, well, it remains to be seen. There's a couple of candidates for weapon of the week, so it's been a word. I've gone off helmet. Helmet at mumps is okay in it, but it's until you get picked by me. And it's good in it, but nice to see Alex Taylor in there today. Bam, 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 bam. On punch bag, he's gonna be a good fighter him be a good fighter. I like him as a lot. Very respectful young man from Darfield. Seems happy enough. Travelling kid. Got a bit of support behind him. He'll do well him. He's just told me a story in there, right? He's always full of beans him. His dad's called Dennis Taylor. I says, oh yeah. 
Dennis Taylor. He goes, uh, he goes, what's your mum called? He goes, Elizabeth Taylor. I goes, you're having a laugh, aren't you? He goes, no. He goes, and uh, not long ago, we're all driving home one night. His dad's driving, his mum's in front, he's in back. And old Bill have pulled them over. And, uh, called... <laughs> Uh, you don't know if it's, uh, if they're being, what's the word? What do they call it when police are always pull it, pulling you all the time? Maybe they might have pulled them for a motoring offence, I don't know, but travelling people tend to get pulled just because they're travellers, don't they, I think. I've got some mates who get pulled all the time and they just, you don't leave them alone. Cause they probably drive a nice car or a nice tranny van custom or, some, or whatever. So they've been pulled up. Copper goes, what's your name? He goes, Dennis Taylor. He goes, oh yeah, Dennis Taylor. He goes, I'll speak to your wife because I can't get no sense out of you. She, he goes, what's your name, love? She goes, Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Copper goes, oh, are you all just going to be here just uh, giving me grief on that? This is now we're telling the truth. So, but that's just another famous story, isn't it, Fuck book. But he's a nice kid, Alex. I didn't know he'd uh, lost against uh, Eddie Hardy. Remember that name, don't you? Know, from my channel of the month, Eddie Hardy, uh, trained by John Lewis Moore from Atfield, uh, from Ifield's gym. Uh, they reckon he's going to be next big thing, don't they? In the area. They reckon he's going to be next. They reckon he's going to be next big thing, Eddie Hardy. So, well to wait. He's just won that A, A B C S or whatever they call that amateur thing for juniors. He's, I think he's going to be senior now for a bit, but he's just won that two year on trot all knockouts, I think. So remember that name, Eddie Hardy. They reckon he's uh, going to be next big thing up here. There's already people looking at signing him, from what I've heard. But. He's been training with McCracken's lot up there. See, I have a problem with that, don't don't I really? Everybody knows that I've everybody knows that I've mentioned that before on channel. That Eddie Hearns had the pick of the Olympians from 2012, 2016 and 2020 first pick. Now if that were the in America and if it were the NFL, the bas if it were the basketball, base baseball is it? What's the other one? That way gridiron in it with helmet with helmets <laughs> they were helmets well they are helmets them like, aren't they running around with padding on we don't do that at rugby do we but Eddie Hearn having first pick on that I don't agree with that what do you reckon Mr Box Clever you always seem to be leaving smarmy comments on my channel don't you Carly just deletes it anyway mate as soon as yours pop up it gets deleted we don't block you because we like to just let you know that you get deleted so alright Mr. Box Clever, why don't you come on my channel, Mr. Box Clever, with your British glove and your and your American glove for your icon picture? Why don't you come on channel and we'll have a chat, we'll have a debate? Because you're one of them little cowards that hide behind your channel, aren't you? Hide behind your fake name. Well, let me tell you this: we know who you are. How's about that one, hey? We know who you are because you tell people too much of your business. So will you be getting a visit soon, Mr. Box Clever? All right, but it is what it isn't. So just want to get home. I'll give it some up here now, cook up. Oh, traffic! Do you know when you have a long day? You just, I just want to get more agitated today, and I'm like day four with no medication. So I've. Got probably got another four or five more days of this and I'm really really clammy enough just sure I love it place aren't I everything going ten to dozen and that but it's been coming hasn't it this 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 fortnight it's been coming for ten years nearly ten years so it's got to be done hasn't it and it's not sleeping but I read a book overnight because I was up all night. Burt Reynolds were on all sorts of tablets when he was 50, right? He were on everything. Drink, cocktails and all these tablets and lot. Burt Reynolds were taking Oxycontin before anybody. Well, let me tell you this. One day, he just got up one day and he said, you know what, I'm done with it. And do you know when I finish this next week, 
I'm going to storm that fucking that place in Donny and I'm going to tell them what I think about them scumbags because 10 years ago they put your arm around you if you're missing appointments now they just kick you off there's pricks, NHS are pricks do you know what I mean? pricks, they did that to me with my gastric band, the pricks end up having to fucking pay for it NHS is knackered that's why they don't let you have the same doctor you know have you ever noticed how you don't have the same doctor because if you have the same doctor years you build a relationship and you can blag them for operations now you've got different doctors they're all called doctor no because when you ask them for something they go no we haven't got funding so I'm getting stressed out fucking agitated to fuck Oh, right, peace out. Shout out Innovation Alloys, that's why. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking <laughs>